time for hiking with Jay, day three. Water. And a bucket. With a bucket. Oh, there's a fish. I don't know if you can see that guy, because I cannot see what's on the screen. There was a fish there. Hands of fish up in here. See what we can see along the shore. There's a bridge. There's a guy on it. Yeah, nothing else really going on. This guy's fishing here. There's his thing. A lot of people hang out here. You can tell there's a spent bottle rocket here. Looks like red butts around and things like that. Interestingly enough, there's an observation monitoring well. Interesting. Just there. I might pay to come by with a wrench and I'll do that one day. I don't know, but. Another thing I wanted to show you, I guess my bike is safe there because nobody's around. The hot dog man is back. He's here. He's got his umbrella over there. The little hot dog umbrella kind. You have the yellow and blue one. And here I am without a dime in my pocket. So I can't get a hot dog. Shit, I just realized they put up a lot more graffiti. Bastards. Every time they repaint it, somebody comes by and does that shit. It's a shame. It happens anywhere. It's not anywhere any much new over here, but whatever. I think it's the same guys. It looks like the same shit. Maybe not. I don't know. How do you get into a life of doing that? Being a tagger? Anybody knows, leave a comment on that. But like I said, it's okay. I don't have any monies on me right now. Because we're going out to dinner tonight, so I wouldn't want to spoil my appetite any. That wouldn't be any good kind. So, no harm, no foul, I guess. All right, I came down here with the whip. She decided to stop off at uh, one of the little stops along the way, sit on the bench and read her e-book, which she could strap on the bike kind and stuff like that. She's also got a little present for me on her bike. So I'm gonna head down there. See if we can find out what she's up to. So I'm just coming down the path here, and you can see it starts going downhill. And there's a roadblock. Check that out. That is awesome. He's just blocking the damn road. See if we can get up there in a bit. Hey, Mr. Tortle. I think he's scared.
Hello, Mr. Chortle. So, I don't really want to move them. So I think I'm just going to kind of wheel my bike past and hopefully that'll do it. But it's just interesting that he's here. I think he's really afraid. Just if I go up to him, he kind of pulls his head in and stuff. He's got a nice shell. I wonder how old you are. Every time the wife doesn't come, she doesn't see any of this stuff. Sitting there reading her book in La La Land. And I'm interacting with nature. With car alarms and big trucks in the background. I stopped off and found the whiff there and chooched on a little something there. And I decided that we're going to go into the nature part again. See, it's like a dirt path. There's a mud patch here. But there's a happy tree. A very happy tree. Being that his top was cut off, he's now officially a happy little tree. Beg my card. Wildlife, ladies and gentlemen, the wildlife. I think he went fishing. I found something. That pussycat lives here. I've seen him here plenty. Right in this spot, he like hangs out here. Oh, I found something there. I don't know. Perhaps he will have a misstep and fall in the water. Wouldn't that be cute? Actually, his paws are in the water. He can have a fresh drink of water any time he likes. The problem is these swans here. You can see one, the other one down around the bend there. They are very possessive of their little lake or whatever you want to call this here. And they got angry at the pussy kitten here which seems to have scampered off. Oh, no, there he is. There. Yeah, this pussy kitten lives here because he's been here all the time. I see him every now and again here, so... I wonder if somebody's house or something, they put food out for him. And then he just comes here and does his cat job during the day or what, I don't know goes fishing for more snacks and retains his slenderness. So anyway, it's getting a little late, the sun's setting. I decided not to go in the lake today because it actually kind of cooled off a little bit. So that'll be for another day. Maybe after work one day, we'll see. So anyways, that's going to do it for Hiking with Jay Part 3, or Day 3. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time.